this hood was smashed right down, touching the top of the engine. I took it off. I pounded the dents out as best I could. But what are you going to do? Now the darn thing vibrates like crazy whenever I'm running the tractor. Hey, at least I put an orange ratchet strap on, right? Not, not a friggin' green one. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country. If you're new to the channel and I've had a few people subscribe recently, thank you very much for joining us. It's going to be a good time. Today's video is uh, some BX content. I know you guys like that a lot and it's kind of the foundation of uh, how I built my channel, so let's get back to it. Do you remember a little while ago I did a collaborative video with Luke from Orange is My New Green and Ross from Ross on the Land? It's the video that ended with Luke giving me a beautiful charcuterie board and Ross gave me uh, a custom fabricated exhaust component for my tractor. Now I know what you're thinking. James, why do you need to replace any components on the exhaust system of your Kubota BX? Well guys, it's okay. It's just the tip. Just the tip. It's going to be fine. So I'm going to pull the tractor out, see what's necessary to get this thing installed. It's going to be fun. Let's do it. Kubota BX25D. All right, let's see if these green monsters will start. Number two. I like to get these things kind of put away out of the rain and out of the UV if I'm not doing a whole bunch of grass cutting. Perfect spot for them inside the bagger on my sweeper. Glow plugs. Man, almost 560 hours on this thing. Alright, what are we up against here? Hmm. This is honestly not something I have ever, 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 ever looked at. I mean, it makes sense to have an extended exhaust tip because it does like get really dirty on the plastic, on the cowling around this thing. So let's figure out what we can do here. I think I'm going to have to pull the pull the cowling off of this thing if that's if that's the word I should use for it. So I think what's going to happen is the loader is going to have to go all the way up. I'll have to take this uh, this push bar off and and then we'll open the hood and we'll slide that off. So let's get the loader up in the air. I know what some of you guys are thinking. Some of you guys are looking at that going, oh man, is he going to work underneath that thing with the loader like that? And they're getting their like knuckles all scrunched and ready to type like the keyboard warriors and the, the YouTube police. No, I'm going to go get a piece of wood or something and put under that to support it so that I don't hurt myself. What size of wood would be appropriate? Oh, pickings are getting pretty slim in the junk pile, folks. This is so unbelievably overkill. It's absolutely ridiculous. Piece of six by six, but it kind of looks like it might be the right height. So let's go see if we can totally jam that underneath the bucket somewhere. Oh, 
that's going to be the one for sure. Uh, other side though. Now let me precariously hold that in there with my finger and try to tip the bucket down at the same time, maybe. Maybe. Move it in a little bit. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention? That looks pretty good. That'll be okay. Park and brake is set. Let's pull that front grill off. Do, do, do. I feel like the nuts and bolts on that thing are a ridiculous size, like 13 sixteenths or something. Let's try it. Uh, 11 sixteenths maybe? Oh yeah, I'm feeling really good about 11 sixteenths. It's totally 11 sixteenths. So when I was at uh, Luke's house, hanging out with Luke and Ross, I got a close look at the BX23S for the first time and the grill is very different. I was surprised to hear that uh, that Luke and Ross, I, I don't know if they were both very happy with them because the, the metal is a little bit thinner than what I have. It's, uh, it's quite flexible, I guess, but it looks a lot nicer in my opinion. And the, the functionality is better too because it can tip, it can tip forward out of the way. This is kind of a pain in the butt, but this thing is bulletproof. Oh, it feels really good to be out making videos because the weather is so nice. My sister hasn't brought back the Dodge Caravan yet. Oh, this thing's totally gonna fall off and pinch my finger. I just know it. This thing also has to come off when I install the front mount snowblower. There it is, folks. There's the knuckle breaker. Not today. All right. Now I have to take off this ratchet strap. Oh, I can just hear you guys now. James, what's the ratchet strap for? Well, there was a once upon a time, I had an oil fired hot water heater in my basement that went along with the hydronic furnace. So my hot water was oil, my furnace was also oil. Not in this house, by the way, this house is new. But uh, I was moving the oil fired hot water furnace in the bucket of the tractor. I did have it strapped. I thought that I had it strapped adequately. I did not. Uh, I lifted the loader to put the, uh, the water heater into a junk trailer to take for scrap metal. The darn thing came right over the back and, uh, and landed right on the hood. Scared the bejesus out of me. You know, it's, uh, I wish that somebody would put a sticker or something on these tractors to prevent these kinds of accidents, but uh, what are you gonna do? So anyway, this hood was smashed right down, touching the top of the engine. I took it off. I pounded the dents out as best I could, but, what are you going to do? Now the darn thing vibrates like crazy whenever I'm running the tractor. But I have decided when I hit 1000 subscribers, I'm going to Kubota and I'm going to pull the trigger on getting a new hood for this tractor because it deserves it. It just, it can't look like this. I mean, come on. It's uh, I think 650 or 700 bucks Canadian for a new hood. So if you want to see a new hood on this bad boy and, and you like the content, smash that subscribe button and, uh, Help me get there so I can get rid of this ratchet strap and make it easier to check the oil. Gotta love it. Hey, at least I put an orange ratchet strap on, right? Not, not a friggin' green one. Oh, let's check some things. Perfect. Okay. blow that off. It's not too bad actually. If Luke was here, I'd get Luke to blow it off for me with his electric, his fancy electric blower thingy ma bobber. Good as new.
get a rag, wipe that off, but it looks good. Actually, I'm not even gonna bother. It's perfect. Perfect. I think this thing's due for an oil change at uh, 600 hours. All right, let's get these, get this cowling off. Loosen these. I'm pretty sure you can get this off without having to actually remove the top of the hood. We'll see. I think you kind of have to bend it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's not a pain in the butt at all, is it? that's going back on without me removing the hood which is fine it's only four bolts I've had it off a whole bunch of times this is actually the first time I've removed the side cowlings without first removing the hood all right let's see let's see what we got here so there's the uh, there's the tip from Kubota hmm it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to put that on unless the side unless the side cowlings put back on the engine. So, but now that it's off, we will remove we will remove that hose clamp and get rid of this old tip. That tip's not nearly as good as Ross's tip. Come on, Ross. Ross turns out a good tip. Flathead screwdriver action. Ta-da. One used Kubota tip. Bye. Um, yeah, let's slide this new tip on. This is exciting. Yeah, I eh? just welded a nut onto the side there with a bolt so I can just back it off. Slide that sucker on there, rotate it into whatever position I want. You blow the exhaust down to the ground, which is probably what I'll go with. And then, uh, tighten it back up. That is pretty slick. But the next thing to do is take the hood off. Not that one. Half inch, winner winner chicken dinner. Let's use one of these thingies in a drill and totally be super efficient. Should clean this workbench off one day. Nah. Alright, now that I got the drill, it's totally not going to fit inside of there. It does. One, two, three, four. Look at that. You can take all four of the bolts off of that uh, that hinge mechanism, and it just balances there. You're the best, Kubota. You ink. the side cowling back on. One side's in. Second side's in. Tighten these back down. Now, am I gonna be able to tighten? The oh yeah, from the top. Genius. Look at that. Get myself a a wrench with a wobbly socket. Or a, a ratchet with a universal is what I'm trying to say. Durr. That should work in all situations. It's it's so universal. Alright. Ross, what size is that? I can't hear you. Need that for later. What do you think? Is it three eighths? 
let's try maybe three eighths or 10 mil. I used to be really good at estimating this kind of stuff. Not so much anymore. Oh, that's the one. Boys, boys and girls. Amazing. Now I have to just wash that cowling. I have to. So cool. My thousand subscriber hood. Come on guys, help me out. I suppose I could have just used a flathead screwdriver to get in there and undo that hose clamp, but that wouldn't have been nearly as much fun. How sweet it is. Oh boy, I need some high temp paint on there. I'm sure you already did put high temp paint on there, Ross, but uh, I don't know, man. Some sexy orange paint. I wonder if I wonder if they make high temp orange paint or maybe just black. I don't know. Luke, what did you do? Let's whip this grill back on. So yeah, that, that new tip, it's really going to uh, do a great job directing the, the soot and the exhaust a little bit further away from the tractor instead of just kind of having it barf down on top of the front axle and all over the side cowling. This should be much better. Thanks very much, Ross. That is awesome. Ugh, why are my hands so fat? I'm gonna be coming off sooner than later anyway for that snow plow or snow blower. <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. <sighs> I do love a good snow clearing video though. Oh, I think the hardest part about that job is going to be putting my sweet ratchet strap back on. Now, what do I do with the old exhaust tip? Oh, I see a spot. Perfect. Bad car. You better start next time. I've got my 750 milliamp uh, battery tender junior installed in it. Went from red to green in about a day. Uh, when I store this thing, off season, I leave this connected all the time. As a matter of fact, the battery end is actually connected permanently to the battery. And it just is like a, a two pin trailer harness connection for when I store it for the winter. But uh, I'm sure that this car is due for its third battery. Um, if you have any idea, or if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about right now, one of my last videos, and I'll link to it here, had to do with uh, this piece of junk not starting when I needed it. So go check it out. Time for a new battery. 15 years old, it's on its second battery now. So what, that would be about five years of battery, which is not unheard of, I suppose. I don't know, how long do you guys get out of your batteries? All right, you sorry ratchet strap. Should get a hashtag going. Spend James's money. Hey, okay, subscribe to the channel. Get me to a thousand subscribers, it'll cost me 750 bucks. Do, 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 do. Tuck all that under there, like so. Good as new boys. All right, let's watch the exhaust go through, uh, go through Ross's tip. it I like it well all right guys that's gonna be it for this video so thanks very much for sticking around Ross thank you very much for the exhaust tip for my BX 25d it's gonna do the job just perfect and it's the way that that should have come from the Kubota factory so there you go I think it's great uh, Luke thanks for the charcuterie board once again uh, you guys got to check out Luke and Ross's channels orange is my new green and Ross on the land it's good stuff it's good tractor stuff so uh, that's going to be it until the next video. I don't know what it's going to be. 
I still have the uh, the 50 hour service for the for the final drives on the excavator that is just waiting for me. So maybe I should get that done in the next video. I don't know. We'll see how things go. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Take it easy.